Hello, I think this is working. Should be working. If it is working, welcome to the live stream. Uh, sorry, I don't have any starting music or anything cool like that. Uh, and also, sorry that I am by myself and without a beard. So I guess. Hello, I think oh. this is working. I mess that up every time. All right. So, uh, hi guys, it's me, Pyro. Um, I will be greeted or joined in a little bit by uh, the people that actually matter. Um, so, I look forward to that. Uh, but in the meantime, I guess I can sit here and talk with you guys, and hopefully everything's going all right. So, do I sound okay? Do I look okay? I know. So, a few things. One, uh, I have a new puppy uh, who ate my webcam, which is awesome. Uh, last session we did, uh, I was able to use my Mac, which has a better camera. But unfortunately, my Mac doesn't run XSplit for obvious reasons. Or, no, this turn off. So um, there's that. And so now you have this worse webcam. Hold on. I'm so pro. Um, um, the other thing is, uh, obviously I have no beard anymore. Uh, we, I've been debating back and forth between having a beard and whatnot. And then, um, my wife called executive veto and now I don't have a beard anymore. So that's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, What's up, man? Um, and let's see, anything else going on? Oh, uh, and of course, in celebration of Doctor Who, um, I have this Fez and Sonic Screwdriver set. All right, hold on. I got to add somebody to the call. Sorry, this is really good uh, Good streaming here. All right, I'm going to call the group and see who picks up. Hello? Hey. Hello. Hey, Tom. Excellent. Yes, fezes are cool. Tom, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. So yeah, we, we're just starting up. Uh, I was going to show them a little bit of uh, in-game. We have um, the writing contest in a little bit, or the, uh, the quest contest that we'll be reading uh, the entries from in a little bit. Do you have any news that you want to share before we before we just start diving into things? I guess uh, that is. Dan has been taking point on the questing contest, so I think he's best suited to comment on that. I mean, is there any other news before we get into stuff like the questing um, contest? Well, yeah, actually, uh, the servers now compile in 64-bit, which probably nobody is going to appreciate how cool that is, but it is cool. So <laughs> it was an incredible pain to get it working. Um, Executing in 64-bit is usually fairly simple, but we use a lot of different libraries, and as a result, all of those libraries had to be recompiled in 64-bit. Apparently, people don't believe in shipping binaries anymore. Right. Yeah, so somebody just asked if I lost weight, and uh, I lost my beard. That makes me a bit thinner. <laughs> At least 10 pounds. At least. So, unfortunately, I don't think that we can do uh, all of the cameras that we normally do without having Nick here, since he's the one with, that has the account that can do that. So, everybody can just have your voice for now. Alright, so what should I be doing in game, guys? I'm going to set up a couple of warehouses. So, any other news, or just you got it to compile at 64 and woo? Uh, I'm not sure how much I can really share. 
<laughs> so, so no, no news right now. I'll talk to Nick about it. Although I think Nick should be here soon. He's usually here. Yeah, he said he would be. I can't seem to place anything down. That's good. Hey, uh, looks like it's just me and you. Is Dan in the call? Uh, Dan should be joining here in a minute, and so should Nick. Um, basically, everybody is running a little bit late today because it got it, <laughs> we moved it up early, and then of course people were late to it. So. Uh, I'm kind of holding down the fort uh, until other people show up. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I'm not. Um, ah, not going to be the best for eloquent news, but uh, yeah, servers are unstable. Big surprise. <laughs> uh, trying to fix that. That kind of comes with the whole 64-bit thing. Um, some of our interactions broke. Uh, I have to actually. We have some weird issues now. Uh, you know, they, like all issues are kind of weird, but things like uh, I had to change uh, some of our matrix math to vector math. Oh. And um, it created. I, I anticipated it creating some issues with. Um, how do I put this? Uh, with ship rotation. Okay. But ship rotation seems to work fine, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it created issues with ship movement in travel speed. Oh, interesting. And apparently some of the sector logic is foobard. Uh I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out quickly. People are recommending that you hit it with a wrench. Hit it with a wrench. We do, well, you know, it's actually a remote server. We work through a remote desktop. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure this thing would have been wrenched to death many a time over. Now you need to get a remote wrench to hit the remote desktop. Remote wrench, there we go. And Therian, Therian actually wants you to explain the 64-bit thing. Okay, uh, well here, um, the difference between a 32-bit process and a 64-bit process really comes down to addressing space. Uh, it also comes down, it also uh, refers to the amount of memory that's being moved around in frames on your cache. Uh, but I'm going to sort of stay away from that and focus mostly on, you know, what it means to have uh, larger addressing space. Uh, for instance, uh, a 32-bit program will typically use, uh, well, 32 bits for one uh, pointer, which is an address. Uh, that means um, four bytes of memory. And what that winds up equating to once you take into account operating system, uh, virtual pointer mapping, uh, and actual execute, uh, executable footprint, um, your RAM can consume about 2.5 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes depending on your system. Uh, so that means best case scenario, our servers could consume 4 gigabytes of memory, which doesn't sound like a lot until you need to support 30,000 players. Right. So. So we were basically eating our memory very, very quickly and getting constrained in what we could do uh, technically. Uh, it, we can always add RAM. That's relatively cheap. Uh, but if there is an actual programmatic uh, issue, you know, a, a limit on what we can do, it's, you know, it, it's not as simple a problem as just throwing more hardware at it. So we had to recompile in 64-bit. Um, we can now support theoretically up to 16 exabytes of RAM. Wow. RAM than we will see in our lifetime. You say that, but RAM keeps increasing at a pretty decent rate. Six, uh, well, for reference, uh, in 2004, the, uh, in the internet, and when I say the internet, I mean the entire internet, uh, consumed for the first time over one gigabyte of RAM. Hmm. I mean, uh, over one exabyte of RAM. Sorry. I must say, I don't. I wasn't gonna call you out on that, but I don't know. I'm sorry. I was in the middle of something. It was kind of tripping me up. No, I mean, we consumed over one exabyte of total internet traffic in 2004, which, uh, bear in mind, we can support up to 16 exabytes of data. That's 
just a tremendous uh, amount, just a tremendous amount of RAM, and no motherboard in our lifetime is going to support that. Modern motherboards, um, consumer level, uh, can have up to 64 gigabytes of RAM, maybe 128 on on you know the standard. So. Uh, set. So let me try to uh, translate this into non-super geek speak. Uh, basically, what it does is it allows it to work with a 64-bit architecture like 64-bit OSs. And its practical value to us is that the ceiling of RAM uh, or our ceiling of how much stuff we can store in memory uh, basically is diminished or just gone at yeah, this it's, point. Yeah, it's, it's way more than we could realistically consume it. We were looking at using uh, PAE, which is physical address extension, mm -hmm. to uh, consume more more RAM, but really kind of was just dodging a much bigger problem. Uh, and that is, you know, we really needed to compile in 64-bit. Uh, if for nothing else, the the uh, cache efficiency is tremendous. Has the uh, rules for building changed? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, obviously everything has to be changed, but... No, 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 like, right now, because I can't build... I built the planetary outpost, but I can't seem to build anything else. Well, we don't. We didn't have uh, some. Uh, King Frederick uh, asked. We were using only four four gigabytes of server to run thirty thousand people on. Well, we hadn't had thirty thousand people yet, um, but we were anticip we're anticipating that. That's one of our uh, goals. Why is Matt not on this call right now? He should be on this call. He should. Hold on. Let me see about Matt. Uh oh. All right, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, Dan is sitting right here with his headset on, so if you call him, he'll join. A wild Denny appears. All right, this is oh, yeah. not my attention now. It kind of caught me off guard. Denny, you okay? You're sounding like a robot. Really? Um, he has been with my completely in the orbital. Today, but uh, for the recent days, it's been, yeah, it's been oh yeah, dude, dude. Lot, so I hope to hey Tom, is he sounding bad to you too? Um, I actually just switched over to my headset. Um, but it, yeah, from what I could tell, it didn't sound like he was having a good time. Yeah, I just had the uh, rotating arrow thingy at Skype, so it was telling me that it probably disconnected somehow. Well, you turned off your webcam, and that makes it a lot better. And I, I just go ahead and leave your webcam off because I can't. All we, right. We we won't be able to have multiple people on webcams anyway. So. All right. Until Nick gets here. Um. You look like a different man with no beard. I know, isn't it crazy? So. Yeah. 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 If, if like if you pointed out a before and after, I would not have. Like put you in a lineup, I wouldn't have picked you out. Yeah. It's it's funny. But uh. My my wife missed my facial expressions, so she said she said enough is enough. All right. Uh, yeah. So I guess I can talk about our scripting system. Um, I, I don't think players are ever gonna actually see it, but there was a question uh, earlier about the AI. If you want to answer that. Okay, what's the question? It was, uh, I, um, will the will the AI um, activity change during the day, like to compensate for when more players are active versus less players are active? Uh, well, yes and no. Um, the AI will actually, at the, once everything is completed, it will actually uh, be operative in active solar systems, uh, meaning if there are players who are currently on, you'll uh, you'll see more NPC fleets spawning in that area. And obviously, activity in kind of you know like dead zones, uh, where maybe you know players have 
quit the game and gone about their way and their planets are just sitting there, well, though that AI will actually start consuming player planets. And then once all player planets are gone, AI will kind of start existing again. Hmm. Uh, but it's it's a little complex because I can't really say that they won't exist in unpopulated areas. They'll just sort of go into kind of a, a sleep mode where they will do things, but but it won't be in the same way that they do things when players are around. You know, the, the decisions that they make will be designed to use a significantly lower footprint. They go kind of like into hibernation until somebody's paying attention to them. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they still will do things. I think what I'm going to wind up doing is just putting it on a much larger fixed update cycle um, so that unpopulated regions will still be active and things will actually, you know, still be happening, but it won't, um, and, you know, much in the same way as anywhere else in the universe, but it won't consume all of our processing power so I can put more intelligent AI in active regions. Which, one reason, you know, one of the biggest crippling troubles that we've had is anyone who programs AI knows that you use data structures to the extreme. Uh, any type of pathfinding or anything, it, you, it trades off memory for performance. Uh, and you don't generally have much of a choice about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, because we've been in 64 uh, or 32-bit uh, constraints, just loading in the solar systems was eating up all of our memory. You know, we might be able to load one fleet and then we'd be out of memory everywhere. So I've been sort of hacking it so I'll test in just one solar system, but obviously it's a very wide scale system, so it doesn't really test much. Right. Have we gotten Denny back? Nope. No, I guess not. Nope, nope. Matt. Get on the stream. I will go to Canada and kick you. Get on the stream. Let's see if I can add Matt to the call. What? It's a long-range kick. I was seeing a thing. I was seeing a thing recently where um, somebody had uh, put a bunch of actuators in a in a series, right? I think this was an MIT project. And they would analyze with a depth sensor uh, where someone's hands were, and they would send that information across the net to the actual. I wanted to be on the stream. Oh. Jerks wouldn't let me. I got you on the stream. Oh, there we go. See, I don't have to talk about insane crap anymore. <laughs> I like what? Insane crap. What's up, Matt? Your face, it's all. I know. You're attractive now. <laughs> Your wife must be happy. There's so many so many <laughs> questions that come from that statement. You're none of which man. none of which I want the answer to. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No homo. I think the statute of limitations of that no homo was was long past. Uh. <laughs> okay. So how you want to come live in the house with me? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I don't. I don't want to know what that was. Less than I'm ever. In message of the day. That's what I'm doing right now. I've decided it needs to be there. I'm doing it. Go oh, into the uh, into the game. So when you log in. Yeah, yeah. Because I see, you know, I'll always see it. You know, like two or three hours after a player logs on, they'll say like, "Hey, the servers are broken." Any word, and then no one can answer that because obviously no one knows. Um. And I always kind of feel like a jerk because usually it's me that broke the servers. Well, you are a jerk, but you gotta feel like a jerk for other reasons. But you should. I want to answer it. I want to answer it. And I can't. So I'm gonna put in a message of the day to tell people what's going on. You should. You should put in a uh, like a console voice from God so you can post messages in in the game to everybody from outside. There you go. Yeah, yeah I, I guess that. technically I could just update the database remotely. What is? No, yep, no. Well, I mean, like, alert. I mean, it's not a bad idea. A lot of these sorts of games have those sorts of things, like alert server shutting down in 15 minutes or whatever. You could just... We already have that. Well, then, can you modify that to be like, alert, hey, by the way, I'm breaking everything. Good luck, guys. Yeah, uh, well, that's what the message yeah. of the day is for. That's yeah. why people log in and, you know, they see, oh, the servers are having this problem or that one, and we're aware of it. It's going to be fixed soon. Just... 
do this other thing to get around it. I am uh, on the infiltrator server at the moment. However, I can't actually build anything. Can you explain why, Matt? Science? Have I messed something Science. up? Like, seriously, on my planet... <laughs> On my planet, the only thing I can build is um, the only thing I can build is my command center, and I can't build anything else. Oh. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> I'm yeah. In, uh, markets right now. I can build multiple planetary outposts. I'm just going to build planetary outposts all day. Is it because my population is too low? Do I need more planetary outposts for population? Maybe. Um, but you need I'm a population. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we saw that yesterday. It's probably something very small, honestly. We're going to have that fixed by the end of today, I'm sure. I, I don't think it's going to be a big issue. Okay, well, in the meantime, you get to see me building command posts. <laughs> Yay! Or planetary outpost, sorry. Uh, do, you, do you have uh, access to... No. Uh, the admin command? <laughs> no. Oh, admin command. They don't give me anything. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to say the live server. <laughs> I don't uh, even know what they're using at Gamescom. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is that going on right now? Yeah, that's why Nick ain't here. Nick said he was going to be here, but he said he was going to be late. Oh. Alternatively, yeah, every was this week. Yeah, just go to Gamescom, guys. Then you can try Nick out the game. Being late is like oh. a fifty-fifty of Nick popping in and saying, "Hey guys," and then leaving. So, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to keep an eye on that one. Well, okay. In that case, uh, why don't we get started with the um, with this the... week? We had a Monday meeting that was mandatory, which Nick set two weeks in advance, and everyone has to be there or else they're castrated. And Nick didn't show hey, up. <laughs> hey, add, uh, add, add Daniel Gooding to the call. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know. Do it. Do it fast. Fast. Uh... I like your picture, Pyro. It's a cool picture. Which one? Your uh, Skype picture. Oh. The creepy one. Is it a... Oh, it's my female Eve player, right? It's a... It's the yeah. doll face thing. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Creepy. My I like the spaceship more. Yeah, that's my that's my character in Eve. Hey, what's up, Daniel? How's it going? So I think if Nick shows up, we should just be like, "Eh, we didn't do the design the the quest design contest. Whatever." No, I'm just kidding. Um. No. So what's going on? How's everything been, Daniel? I am good. You know, uh, I've really been uh, enjoying all these some things that people have been sending in right? yeah we were gonna have uh uh denny read them like we did with the lore stuff but um lack of denny he i don't think his internet connection is working out very well oh so i might have to read them oh we can we can do an improv denny i don't i i can't do <laughs> no i i can't do denny but i i can i can do me reading a quest thing I, I can draw Denny. I, I, I approve. Wait, I don't think any of us can do it any accent. No. no. I can do, uh. Deckard Kane. That's true. So can Dan. Look, if I want to hear Deckard Kane, all I have to do is call Blizzard, alright? So why don't you. Well, I'm the you one can... who told you that, because I called Blizzard. <laughs> yeah. You could read the uh, the quests in the t in the accent of uh, Deckard Cain. That's what it is, eh? An accent. Whatever the 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 well, speech pattern. Nick or Dan, what is the word for your voice? <laughs> what? Your dialogue. <laughs> your dialect. Your. Uh, I don't know what you're the talking individual... about. In the style. In the style of Deckard Cain. There we How go. Everyone sounds different. No, no, I demand... Even with the same accent. No, I'm defying that resolution. Uh, you have to read it in the voice of Christopher Walken. Oh, God. The, the... All right. And Moose ran, ran <laughs> away with the spoon. 
<laughs> you have a slim horse, Christopher Walken accent. No, the problem is I couldn't remember what the line was. <laughs> the moose ran away with the spoon. That's the line. <laughs> That's what it is in Canada, okay? In Canada, we have mooses instead of plates. We yeah, ate mooses we and eat spoons off of Wait. mooses. <laughs> What you that, got in Canada? All that reminds me of is a uh, moose and squirrel. You know, guys, we gotta go over there and try and the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. God, that's awful. Skedaddle. You okay? You're terrible. It's insulting. You're terrible. <laughs> it is perfect. No, oh. it's it's terrible. It's or just. I'll, or I'll get <laughs> so like bad. all right. Kevin Spacey to come here and do it. Just for that, you have to. You have to. Talk a little bit about Novus Eterno. <laughs> Novus Eterno is the game, I think. <laughs> Online. And it's you, like, like, play with things. So you said that you've been working on markets, right? Markets. What, what have you been working on with markets? I'm introducing a gold dupe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I want infinite money. <laughs> I can tell you exactly what he's doing with markets. He's submitting broken code. Oh, man. That's what he's doing with markets. <laughs> guys, I've got tone. It's good, it's good guys. Come on. So where's, what, where's that what, is, what, is the, what is your goal with markets right now? What are you trying to accomplish? To flood the economy and inflate all the currency. Okay. Yeah. There's gotta be. What What was it? This week, extra credits had a thing on. Was it extra credits? Yeah. Um, yeah. The economy. Someone had. No. No. It was the game over. No. What? What's his face? Game theory guy. Game yeah. theorists. Game theorists had. Uh, World of Warcraft inflation on it, and I wanna, I wanna make everything cost one funds because our, our currency is called funds <laughs> in the code. So one funds to costing a hundred funds. Uh -huh. Wait, is it funds f u n s or funds f u n d s? Because <laughs> so funds. I'm having seven funds in this game. It's like, how far have you made it in this game? I've had seven funds. <laughs> yeah, extra credits for games that you might not have played. But uh, Game Theorists was about, uh, yeah, World of Warcraft and economic theory with, like, inflation and all this other stuff. Oh, and wow, it, actually mimics real world yeah, which, economics, but you can tamper with it without, you know, turning into Germany. And what I was, what I thought, the only thing I could think of is like, I get that World of Warcraft is popular and therefore that's why you wanted to use that. But in comparison to like, I don't know, Eve, the, uh, <laughs> like, you could have found better economies to talk about with your virtual. Well, because the thing is that they actually do use World of Warcraft for yeah. modeling. Well, they, they also, no, except for the economy. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Eve's not popular enough. Oh, okay, my bad. See, because 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 reasons. Because non-nerds know what, what World of Warcraft is. Your parents know what World of Warcraft is. So, economists also know what World of Warcraft is. But that's like heard of WoW. That's like saying or, that PlayStation's yeah. the PlayStation is not a valid console because my mom calls everything a Nintendo. Yes, in in, in the eyes of your mom, the uh, the PlayStation is not valid. Um, that's, okay. that's okay. My mom calls everything Nintendo, too. Are you playing the Marios? Some, <laughs> so, uh, Therian asked if Game Theory is like extra credits. It's kind of like ex extra credits, but it's less technical because they, I mean, so they it's, don't have it's James. based off of it, but more science. Yeah, they don't have James. And what they try to do, a lot of times what they'll do is they will take like in-game stuff and try to apply real-world scientific theory to it. So like they'll they'll try to figure out how much bullet barrel weighs based on like, how many pixels he is versus how tall Mario is and all that other stuff. Dead. Link Link was dead the whole time. Spoilers. Yeah. yeah. Majora's Mask. Link is dead. The other thing they do, they do other weird stuff like um, like they'll link two worlds together. What are the size of the boobs. <laughs> 
They'll link two worlds that, together, so they'll be like... Over. That's a different show. Is it? Well, it's still on well, the same... Well, it's on the same channel. They had the very first crossover episode was actually, you know, him, but I think it was like him as a guest speaker on crossover, so... I think, I think, uh, but, but specifically, was the, uh, was the one about World of Warcraft, was it actually Game Theorist, or was it Gaijin Goomba? Oh, no, it was oh, Game, it no, was Game Theorist. Game, game Theorist. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of good, good, uh, videos online, on, like, the YouTubes. The YouTubes. The YouTizzles. Alright, let's check out another solar system. Yeah, Companion Cube has a living being inside of it. It, no, oh. it was the, it was a previous shell. Oh yeah, 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 that was a that was a really interesting episode that uh, the companion cube has has dead people in it. it. Not just dead people, but your dead clones. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, let's go ahead and start with the uh, the quest. Oh. oh, oh, markets. What? Yeah. Every time I try to start getting to the quest thing, you interrupt you it with something that's to. I noticed. So why don't you tell us a little bit about markets that doesn't involve a gold, gold dupe? Fine. What? Why would you not to like to involve gold dupe? Well, presumably you're not going to keep that in. Add, add Denny. Oh, Denny should just be able to rejoin. Add Denny. He's German. He Do can't it. figure it out. Jeez. Violent. Aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think everyone here wants to hear Denny's voice. Oh, wow. Yeah, Denny, so, uh... Check. Hello? Uh, hey! hey. Hey. The show can start. Yo, chick magnet. <laughs> Danny has arrived. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, internet has been really bad lately, and uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I've tried to um, call the technical hotline, but basically they're saying me uh, the service is currently not available. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just great. <laughs> so, so um, markets are revamped completely. And now they can be attached onto actual units, which means we can have things like black markets in space. Mm. So that'll be like a standard auction house with uh, some caveats, like you have to actually transport your goods there and uh, get pirated on, on the way to and from. Can somebody blow up one of these in space markets? Uh, so, <laughs> the first question an Eve player <laughs> asks. <laughs> uh Probably not. Okay. Like we might make it have like eight billion health and one shot ships, but uh, and, and then in that case, yes, <laughs> firing off volleys before it wipes you all out. Um, but the idea is like the area around it will be like a no combat zone, and the area right around that might have um, you know, like guards, NPC guards that are stupidly strong to prevent people from fighting and then the area outside of that may have pirates running around in it player or and hmm so uh denny yeah have you okay. uh i'm gonna i'm gonna push through matt's attempt to derail the conversation no okay <laughs> <laughs> do you have a do you have the first story that you're wanting to read Yes, I have it ready here. Okay. And yeah, I think I could read it uh, like right now. All right. <laughs> All right. So, um, admiring the god rays bouncing off the atmosphere of your planet, casting shadows upon your vast fleet, your communications officer approaches you with an important message. Sir, one of our scouts has discovered what happens to be a large wreckage. They're requesting assistance with further investigation. Set a course, you reply, Wonder wondering why they would have sent a message directly to your bridge regarding a simple salvage operation. Upon arrival, you see a field of massive metal bodies, twisted and contorted beyond recognition. 
I'm surprised they even recognize this as a ship. Or multiple ships, that is. What? That is the most amazing voice I've ever heard. <laughs> Sorry, uh, oh my God. I, ju I just feel it right now. Um, so, I like so I'm, you know what? I... I have no control over any decisions that Novus Eterno makes as a company, but I'm going to say that Danny will do all of the voice acting for the entire game <laughs> yeah. from this point on. Yeah, this is amazing. This right. is like the most corny, amazing cartoon in the world. I'm sorry, continue. I'm loving this. All right, I'll continue. Um, it looks like they've passed through one hell of a gravitational distortion. Through our scans aren't picking up any traces of gravitational anomalies. It should be safe to proceed, but I think we would send in a research. Uh, could you stop uh, putting Skype messages uh, because the thing is like <laughs> uh, going upwards? Um, where was I? <laughs> Sorry. Where was that? Um, Just start babbling. Gravitational in that voice. You're good. <laughs> anomalies. Okay, it should be safe to proceed. But I think we should send in the research team along with the salvage crew in case they can determine what happened to this convoy. If you do not send a research team, the quest is terminated. Without hesitation, you say, call in the best we have, but we can determine what happened there. Hopefully we can prevent our own ships from falling into a similar disaster. Some time passes while the wreck is being salvaged and investigated. <laughs> So we're receiving a call to the electronic research group. <laughs> Open a channel. <laughs> yes, sir. Transactive. The voice of an ec ecstatic researcher blasts through the communication speakers. <laughs> Hello? Uh, is this phenomenon? on? <laughs> this, this is David. Go ahead. Oh, good. You're here. I didn't think you would respond. Usually no one... Uh, why did you contact us? Did you find something? You bet we did. In what I'm sure was the engine bay of the flagship, which isn't much more than a ball of armor plating now. We found, I mean, I still can't believe we found it. We could have cut even a centimeter in the right and passed right by it. What did you find? You reply in a stern tone. Sir, a crystal. And it was basically it. Um, That's... Yeah, the first story. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way I can... There's literally no way I can read the one that you wanted me to read after that. I nominate <laughs> for the new Deckard Kane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love this. I love this soldier. Like, he just sounded so excited to be who he was. You know, you sounded oh, yeah. like... You, you sound like a Hungarian bullwinkle. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I was I was completely aiming for that. Um, could, any, uh, could, could, could anyone be so kind and give Nailed me it. like an an online link of the first story because my Skype keeps updating and um, it kind of scrolls automatically, <laughs> which Here, makes it kind of hard to read sometimes. I'll just post it directly to you, like All right, to that, you personally. That would be great. I re really appreciate that. To the third story? Yes, the third one. Okay, I guess I oh, okay. I That's get smart. to read the second one, which now oh, I'm yeah. gonna just be terrible at because <laughs> there's literally no way I can to follow that. Ah, uh, oh, I'm sure it will be great. I feel I feel bad because there's no way that I can read it as well, and therefore it won't get as good. Oh, you, you want? Yeah, it? go for it, man. You want to read it? Where is it? Give me the link. Here, I will. Woo, Matt, go me. Shameless. Oh, that's gotta love it. There's a lot of really uh, big words, though. Like epitaph? No. I don't epitaph. know if I can say that word. <laughs> Eden Amissio, receiving transmission. Source unknown. <laughs> As I send this, I suppose what may very well might. May. Damn it! Damn you, Denny. You have cursed me. <laughs> Didn't even make <laughs> it to an epitaph. <laughs> suppose, it, it, suppose is too big of a word. I suppose what very well may be my own epitaph, I stand upon a forsaken world. 
and rightfully so. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to read this the way it's spelled. <laughs> These words are going to be gone. I want to bastardize your script. I warned you. As it spirals towards the, its inevitable death at the hands of its once loving star. Now, more absence of light than the cold void of space. The very land beneath my feet seems to quiver and moan with every step as it struggles against the tidal force. I pray one day that I will be forgiven for the lives that have been lost in the pursuit of my obsession. No, that word does not cover my sin properly for my crusade. My innocence lost amongst the debris and severed limbs of the flagship Paurus Imperator. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that is one way to go about it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Long dead adrift within the nebula Amicio, I believed our quest to be one of importance, unlike any other. It was ours once, so it should be again. No! No! This world is too far gone. The memories that lay written on its marred lands and... What is that supposed to be? Desecrated? Desiccated? What is desecrated? that? Desecrated? I'm going to go desecrated. No, okay. Desecrated. Desecrated? Is the word. desecrated? Yeah. Schmigo loves desiccation. <laughs> State of extreme dryness. No. Oh. Like hyper arid. There you go. I guess it is desiccated. Okay, we have learned new words. <laughs> and hyper the, arid. the more you know. <laughs> Reading rainbow. <laughs> desiccated sea should and will soon be forever forgotten. A sight so full of blight, even the vast superior Vernos turn tail and run from these hallowed grounds. I wish it were guilt for the atrocities that gripped them so tight as they scurried away, but alas, I know them better. I have gazed into the eye of oblivion, and now death with its wings and faceless form of glass nears. Please find my ship and her crew. They deserve a proper end. Something I was too selfish and arrogant to give them. There is an artifact on board. I beg of you, destroy it, please. Cast it out into space and give it sleep once more amongst the lost and damned. Diablo! <laughs> You've quite a treasure there in that Herodric cube. Stay a while, listen. Abandon all thought of finding me. Spare your sanity. For it will lead only to despair. Instead, <laughs> live in hope. Hope for the future, as I have been given the blessing to glimpse. A mercy I couldn't possibly deserve as I send these final words. I lost my place. Among the auburn glow of burning skies, so heavy are my sins, I can hardly stand as the barren wastes erupt with the crimson blood of this dying hell. My 
only comfort before death, sweet touch, is that I have found it, my love. I have found our beloved pale blue dot. I've found. Oh, signal lost. A string of numbers, possibly coordinates, and name were received. Well, this okay. changes oh. the hunt following the path of a missing flagship starting with a contact and following clues given to you where it ends. Don't know. Could be the ship that could be something else. <laughs> <laughs> Requirements. I think the grammar checking was more in the story than he <laughs> Well, to be fair, we did say that we just wanted a hook. Like, we didn't need them to flesh out what the quest was actually going to be. So. Oh, but. okay. Requirements are going to be as simple as attack this or collect that. I think it should be get seven Baranoss hearts. <laughs> <laughs> collect six Bar Baranoss bear asses. <laughs> uh, that's well, terrible. We can build tech into it as we like. Um, yeah. One of the things I'm thinking about doing is um, actually putting the AI scripting utilities into the area server. And Matt's probably going to throw a conniption fit about that. But we can actually customize a lot of our instances using that sort of scripted logic. So um, one of the things, one of the reasons why we picked these three stories was that we wanted... We wanted to okay. We wanted to, That's crazy. We wanted to showcase keep it in control. We wanted to showcase um like kind of what we were looking for. We were looking for a hook, something that was interesting, something where when you learn about it, you want something more. So like that first story was very interesting. I want to know what this crystal is. I want to know where it's going to lead. Um you know, it could do it could be whatever. Um It's going to lead us to disaster. <laughs> You really are freaking Rocky. And then, uh... Name to, uh like, change your name to that awesome soldier and then never stop talking. <laughs> All right. And then the second story is kind of interesting because it looks like it's more exploration-based because they basically just give you coordinates and you got to figure out what to do while it's there, which a lot of quests in, like, other games don't really do. So uh, it might just end up with collecting, you know, 17 Varanus flowers, but... At least, flowers. at least to start with. Baranoss would grow flowers. They would consume the flesh of their enemies. That is true. Without All right. Flowers. So uh, the third one I picked for a different uh, kind of I wanted to talk about it. So uh, Denny, go ahead and, and read the third one, and then it should be right. Danny that reads the last okay. one. Well, Denny prepared two of them. Oh, because because right. Dan yeah. does voices. So, let's go with semi-prepared. <laughs> what are you uh, talking about? Denny has literally been staying the, spending the last two days nonstop just studying these stories and how to. Oh yes, absolutely. How to tell them. I've been doing nothing else here. All right. Oh. You stand over the relay field monitor in apprehension of the hull panels, uh, as the hull panels examined. It was pulled from a debris field containing in as yet unlocated SOS beacon that stopped transmitting shortly before your scout element arrived at the scene. The oxide burn patterns and scorching are unmistakably caused by heavy en energy weapons fire and internal failure, but more worrying is the hull registration, making only just legible on the fragment in question. You look out of the bridge view screen at the ship uh, the number belongs to, still in one piece and accounted for since she launched and flown with you, but these days, uh, for these past few months, is it a trick, or have you uncovered something far more sinister? So I, yeah. I literally left, uh, brought this you. one. <laughs> Sorry. I, I, brought, I wanted to read this one out loud because I wanted to talk about it. Because I, I read it, and I, uh, it was slightly ambiguous what it was talking about. And I think that that's actually pretty cool in this case. Because mm -hmm. um, it says... You look at the uh, sorry. You look at the bridge view screen at the n ship the number belongs to, still in one piece and accounting for since she launched and flown with you these past few months. So I don't know whether or not this is like an ally of yours, like oh, it's a good friend of mine that I've been flying with for the last few months, and now this is their wreckage. So now it's a story of vengeance, or, or, or 
are you finding your own ship's wreckage? Do you find your ship's number on this piece of wreckage as a way of being like a complete mystery as to why things are messed up? Why does this ship? Act, why does? Why are you looking at your own ship wreckage? You know, every good game has time travel. Exactly, which actually brings me uh, brings me to a point. There was actually a lot of really good stories. Like, don't think that these are the only good stories. Like, I strongly recommend everybody go and read them all. They're they're all pretty cool, and I think we're going to take inspiration from quite a few of them. Um, but uh, there's one that where I, I want to bring on as like an honorable mention. In fact, let me see if I can do that now. Somebody made a um, a graphical uh, quest which I thought was super cool. Mm -hmm. So if you go look at the, uh, like they actually showed, they made a, a screenshot of you getting the quest. And so it was really cool. Um, give me a link. Well, it's on our forums, man. Give me, it's give on me a the forum, link. Matt. It's on the forum. Give me, give me a link. It's on page two. And I'm actually, I'm putting it up on the main screen right now. Mm -hmm. I'll make it full sized. But uh, the only reason why I didn't want to include this as an official entry, which because, you know, we don't like it, it features uh, wormholes and alternate dimensions, which is something that we've never really addressed or like discussed in the canon. So we have um, just not publicly. Well, thanks, I'm Matt. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but the difference is that I don't actually know anything. So if I say something that's spoilery, it's just total happenstance. All right. Well, any rate, there is no we have space without wormholes. Like right, we'll be having Star Trek with no Picard. But this is this is somebody coming. It, it features people coming from an alternate dimension, like an alternative reality, which we haven't really addressed at all. So while it's really Whoa. cool and I really like it. Uh, unfortunately, we're not 100% sure if that'll match our lore. I noticed that the people watching the stream dramatically fell as soon as I started reading. It's weird, isn't it? Because, like, they, they, like, the number of people watching doubled when Denny started talking. Yep. And then, like, halved again as soon as he stopped talking. It's like... It's... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like, how do you know... <laughs> I'm I'm very sure it's mostly just random, and no, it just no seems like that. It's that good. <laughs> the, like your your voice just is a magnet that calls out through space and time to right. bitches. Yeah, the bitches. Come. The Nova's Eternal server just got taken down for. Um, I'm sure somebody's monkeying with something. Ah, okay. I'm fiddling, hitting it with a wrench. Oh. <laughs> are you monkeying or are you fiddling? Fiddling and wrenching. And monkeying? Fiddle wrenching? One of these days when you're when you're fiddling or wrenching, you should be the one streaming. We should uh we should uh we should ferret the the We're gonna ferret the We'll be back up soon. What is okay, so what is the name of the I always forget this. What is the name of the uh oh straw pole? The the voting the voting website that we use. Straw poll. Yeah, I got that. Well, you said a straw poll. Extrapple. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> no, that's I'm good. Extraterrestrial apple. <laughs> Extra testicle apple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have class here. Okay. Are you ready to save the galaxy? Well, the reason I'm fiddling is I actually found the sector problem. Unfortunately, I don't think I could fix it immediately. But uh, I might be working on something I already it'll be fixed. fixed today. Um, game settings issue. Yeah, you fixed that already. Yeah. Right. Which which uh, did you commit it? I don't think so, but it has markets with it. Right. <laughs> yeah, so right now running the server is a very tentative issue because somebody didn't create a branch. You're the troll that updated the live source with the devs infiltrated server. 
You shouldn't have committed broken code should, in the first place. You shouldn't have updated. I had things to update. No. Crackhead? No. Crackhead. We only okay. update when I give the update order. <laughs> A little bit off. You don't order me. Alright. So I have I have posted I have posted a link. Okay, rain it in, rain it in. I have posted a link to the Strapple uh, in the chat. Um, what I think I'm going to do is um, probably post this also in that forum thread, so that way we can, or maybe make a new one, so I that way. You already vote. I did already vote. Is oh, that Comic good. Sans in the Strapple? It is absolutely Comic Sans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, Actually, I'm not. You prefer? I'm not. Admiring the god rays bouncing off the atmosphere. <laughs> Denny, I'm just not going to talk anymore. Look, literally. Oh, no, God. Denny talks for five seconds and we just jumped up five viewers. You can't. Like, no bullshit. No bullshit. That's legit. <laughs> you guys can't vote. Like, we are the staff. You can't vote. Oh, I, I get a vote. Why do you get a vote? Because it's because you're not like fully legit staff. You're half cause, legit cause staff. I'm half legit staff because I'm going to vote. I have to vote. <laughs> I. By the way, is it just me or does Daniel look slightly like Daniel Crack? Who's that? I don't know who that is. What uh, Daniel Crack? Uh, the uh, James Bond actor, the latest one. Oh, Daniel oh. Craig. Daniel yeah. Craig. Crack. Yeah, yeah, that's crack. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Crack. <laughs> you know, all right. he's just snorting. He's got a, you know, a separated devium. <laughs> and with all that, with all of that, uh, we're coming actually to the end of the hour. Does anybody have anything else that they want to talk about um, while we still have time? Or is there any questions that anybody has? I would our, like to take a minute stuff. to talk about Jeebus Christ. <laughs> Jeebus? Before yeah. we, before we, you know, eat dinner, we need to pray to the gods of R two D two. All right. R two D two is our prophet. Have you guys seen the new? Uh, the the. Have you guys all seen Guardians of the Galaxy yet? No, oh, I still up. haven't I'll seen it. But, but I want to. I want to. <laughs> so People good. Just tell me, I, I'm supposed to see it. What? <sighs> it's, you have to see it. It's got a so. raccoon in it. It's oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, log in. Servers are up. All right, servers are back up, everybody. So uh... check out that beauty. I did that during the stream. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good. Do 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 do. I know Screw that it. I would. Yeah. Do 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 do. Screw we'll it. Do we'll it. do it live, right? We're good. I yeah, got a screw. Right. Uh, 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 oh. Well, now that all of our viewers are gonna leave. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the helix no. boss. I don't know what this is, but I like it. So like you, you, you have some Pokemon. You it, could, uh, yeah, you could don't evolve the Helix fossil into like Omnite or whatever. You don't know about the All and Praise to Helix fossil. It it comes from oh. this. This comes from Twitch plays Pokemon. Yeah. Like this whole oh. cult religion started. <laughs> I, I watched a little bit of that, and I saw these spammed all over the Praise Helix. <laughs> I'm guessing they got it and evolved it and uh, leveled it up and beat the shit out of everything. Well, uh, technically, it doesn't actually evolve. It, it just births. Wakes up. It, it is reborn. Well, you, uh, you by have the way, use, worse like you have to use the fossil with the machine to like birth it. Nick said that he was going to come late. By that, I think he meant in two weeks. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Is he I'm still in Russia? Sometimes, or? man. Yeah, well. I like how there's Raz al Ghul. We got Batman villains in our game. It's nice. Cool enough. Awesome. That's cool. So, yeah, we have message of the day now, and I will be updating that whenever things are broken, or whenever I know things are broken. Um, well, technically, the current build of uh, Bin D is compatible with my server. So. We could put it up today. That would be ideal. I know Pontus wanted to have it on the dev server so he could update the client accordingly. And I don't know if there's just... other things, though, that, you know, I don't know if Pontus is around and 
we get his go-ahead. Yeah, let's have him on on Monday, and I will work with you after this stream to get the, the uh, game settings fixed in. So, yeah, we'll definitely have the servers working again today because we know what the problem is, and apparently it's already been fixed on uh, Matt's machine. Should be easy enough to port. Uh, and I will start updating the message of the day. We can actually change that live. We don't have to bring the servers down to update that. So uh, whenever we find a problem, we can just update the message of the day. Oh, hey, and I would totally demonstrate the message of the day, but my camera's in the way. One second. Sorry about all the sniffing. Um, I'm in Florida right now, and something is not agreeing with my allergies. The gators. You can't... Oh. So people can't see this. <laughs> people can't see it very well, but it says right here, uh, Welcome to the Novus Eternal Infiltrator server. Building sectors is currently bugged and should be fixed by 8-24-2014. So what that means is is that during the course of this uh, stream, Tom, you put that in, right? It wasn't a thing. Yeah. Now it's a thing. Yeah, now it's a thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah. During like this it. stream, we got things. So that means come to, come to uh, streams with good ideas. It might get implemented by the end of it. <laughs> come to the stream, and we will give you things. Yep. All right. Everyone likes things. Well, uh, on that note, I oh, think that. Yeah. I will be uh, shutting this down. Uh, we will be returning in two weeks. Probably going to be at our normal time, not this earlier time. Um, oh, thank God. But look for more information <laughs> of that as, as time goes on. Um, with that, uh, thank you guys very much. Uh, sorry, I don't have any... What? When are people actually going to be uh, seeing the results of the scroll poll and things like that? Okay, so what I want to do is um, just to give everybody a good opportunity, I'm going to post the straw poll in the forum post. Nobody likes Relay Feed Monitor. What? What? Nobody <laughs> likes re Relay Feed Monitor. I feel bad for that, that quest. quest. I was sitting there thinking, that poor quest. <laughs> like, I want to go back <laughs> and I want to vote on it. Tom is now the voice of God. So, uh, right now, the first story, the one that, uh, the first story that Denny read is, got the max, uh, most votes, um, although I am partially suspicious that that is because Denny read that in such an epic manner. Uh, sorry, sorry, I, yeah. I'm going to give one vote, I'm so, a vote to relay uh, here. So uh, I'm going yeah. to uh, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna post it on the forums and give an opportunity for that to change maybe. You stand over. Like... Yeah. What's up? Okay, um, I had a lot of actual. I enjoyed reading through all of these. Uh, I've been working very closely with the whole uh, uh, quest and missions department, and uh, I want to say that a lot of these. Um, even if they aren't on the straw poll, we will be taking, like, I don't mean like not taking, but like a lot of these will be, they've given us ideas that we could really work with. So yeah. it's sort of like, uh, if, if you don't see it, on, if yours on the straw poll, like, the, you're, some of these things have really, like, inspired some sort of like, oh, sort of like, <laughs> that, could, that could be really awesome. And, um, yeah, and I also like seeing some that were non human press, like the, uh, the Cauldron Born and the. The others, I, re I really like the Golden Boy quest myself. Um, it, yeah. So when I was picking kind of which ones would be read, um, unfortunately, I had to make some super hard decisions because of that. Uh, yeah. As you pointed out, they were almost universally fantastic, mm -hmm. but I, I had to. I, I made my choices based on how they would sound once they're like narrated, like to make it so, like some of them were a lot more technical. And not really like the beginning of the story, but more like playing out the entire quest, which is actually really good, but it wasn't specifically what we asked for for this contest. Um, so some of them might not have been really interesting to have been read out loud. And also some of them um, were questionable about whether or not they would fit in the lore per se. So I kind of picked safe when, I came, when it came to picking these three, but uh, absolutely... Yeah, I just, want, I, I just want to know that everybody to know that this was um, these were all very good and I enjoyed reading them all. Cool. All right. Well, um, if there's nothing else to say, I'm going to bring this down. Damn. Okay. No, all right. It was, uh, it was good. I enjoyed being on the stream and I hope everyone had a 
a good time. I know Nick wasn't here to make things charismatic, but that's okay. Goodbye, bitch bags. All right. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Waffles.